First at 10 tonight, the Lackawanna County Commissioners held a public meeting to release recommendations from a consulting group tasked with presenting a financial plan for the remainder of the 2024 fiscal year. Good evening, I'm Anne Larie Aaron has the night off. Our Jake Sarwar shares the options on the table, including a possible tax increase. If you don't have fix the cash flow problem, there is no capital investment. Thursday morning, Lackawanna County commissioners and residents heard solutions to an $11 million deficit, something Commissioner Matt McGloin says the current administration inherited. When you play kick the can down the road and it lands at your feet here, it's time to step up and to solve the problem. Managing Director Gordon Mann says the problem is surprising for a county to face. It is relatively unusual, though, to see the cash flow problem this acute in a county government. You see that often in school districts and cities, but not as often in counties. PFM laid out three options for the county to consider. Implement a hiring freeze at the commissioner's discretion, diverting a portion of the remaining federal ARPA funds to address the cash flow, and unfunded debt borrowing, which could lead to higher taxes. Man believes the county will need to borrow money to fill gaps. I assume that the borrowing will be part of it. I don't think there's any way to close that hole without borrowing some amount of money. So you would need to start that by early fall so that you have the cash by the end of the year. Commissioner Chris Shermack, who served in the previous administration, is on board but acknowledges politics have played a role. So to have everybody in this room and to finally start addressing this problem, I'm on board 100%. This is something that I've been trying to do. Unfortunately, as a minority commissioner, it's very difficult. The commissioners are working on a budget for next year, considering the recommendations made. We are in the middle um, of going through our budget here, and, and all options are on the table at this point in time. The three recommendations presented would help the county get to the end of the fiscal year. PFM feels that all three of their recommendations will have to be enacted in some way for the county to pull themselves out of the hole. In Scranton, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first to 10. PFM is also working on a review of Lackawanna County operations and a long-term look at finances, which will be announced at a later date.